Good morning everyone, here is the latest video update on Super Typhoon MySack on this uh, Wednesday morning, April 1st, 2015. And again, we continue to watch this monster of a typhoon moving now into the Philippine Sea away from the state of Yap uh, system as uh, rapidly intensified overnight reaching a, a peak intensity of, uh, again, Super Typhoon Category 5 intensity based on the latest Joint Typhoon Warning Center's uh, wind analysis. Uh, the eye of MySAC was last located approximately 200 kilometers northwest of the island of Yap, which is right over here, or about 1,280 kilometers east of the town of Borongan in eastern Samar, Philippines. Maximum sustained winds, according to the latest JMA analysis, is at 195 km per hour with gusts of up to 280 km per hour. Meanwhile, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center is still a uh, very high wind estimates here, uh, 260 km per hour sustained winds with gusts reaching as high as 315 km per hour, again making MySAC a Category 5 Super Typhoon on their scale. We have pretty big differences. Uh, uh, between JMA and JTWC, but still very high end on their respective scales. The system is currently moving west-northwestward at a speed of about 20 kilometers per hour. Uh, MISAC made its closest point of approach just north of Yap last night, bringing winds of up to 100 kilometers per hour near the island, uh, around the island of Yap. Uh, some of the atolls, like Olithi and the uh, face were hit uh, directly by the eye and we are still awaiting uh, uh, reports out of those uh, out of this uh, region now the system is now moving into the philippine sea and is ex ex expected i'm sorry to enter the philippine area of responsibility uh, later tonight or perhaps early tomorrow morning uh, pagasa will assign the local name bagyong uh, chedeng on this uh, on MySAC as it enters uh, the pir Looking at the infrared satellite loop, you can see that I has uh, remained very symmetrical, very circular here. MySAC actually underwent an owl uh, replacement cycle, and you can see the cloud tops have slightly warmed uh, over the past 24 hours. However, we are, uh, especially the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, is still expecting uh, slight intensification uh, within the next uh, 12 to 24 hours before beginning. Uh, it's a uh, forecasted weakening trend uh, before nearing the Philippine Islands. Um, looking at the uh, latest water vapor image out of the Western Pacific region, and two things I want to note here. Uh, the system is forecast to move, again, on a west-northwesterly trajectory as a mid-latitude trough, as you can see here, moving across eastern China is forecast to slightly weaken the subtropical ridge that has been steering MISAC on the westward track. Um, however, the uh, influence on the subtropical ridge will not be as significant. Um, so, instead of missing the Philippines entirely, MISAC will turn on a west-northwestward track, perhaps making landfall here in Luzon by Sunday morning. Another aspect that is uh, seen on this water vapor loop is the you can see the clouds uh, associated with MISAC ahead of the uh, core. But you can see it's fanning out, it's spreading outward. Uh, th that is because of the strong upper level winds in this region. Uh, we're expecting that strong wind shear to really take damage and take toll on MISAC as you move into Friday and Saturday. In fact, some of the computer models are forecasting a rapid weakening trend before it makes landfall in the Philippines, which is definitely good news um, as we are uh, forecasting a, looks like, what could be a landfall in uh, northern Luzon as you move into Sunday morning. And you can see here the consensus among the computer models that we are using. Again, each line represents a different uh, model output from uh, from a computer model and you can see again most of them are now converging on a possible on a possible track towards uh, central or northern Luzon and the timing again as I've said somewhere around sometime around Sunday morning uh, Philippine time is when the eye of my sag is forecast to make land. Looking at the latest forecasts from numerous weather agencies in the region beginning with Pagasa 
uh, which has actually put out uh, an official forecast even before the system has entered the PAR. You can see uh, they are expecting a general west-northwest -west trend, uh, perhaps nearing uh, the eastern end of the Philippines as you move into Saturday. Uh, they're not uh, showing a four-day. This is only a three-day forecast track, so not showing exactly where the system will make landfall. But nevertheless, keeping uh, keeping in line with much of the uh, most of the computer models and other weather agencies forecast in the region. Here we have the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's uh, five-day forecast track, and again, you can see here pretty much in line with what we've been saying before: a general west-northwest wind track. Joint Typhoon Warning Center uh, still pretty keen on keeping MySAC as a typhoon, perhaps as, perhaps as a category 1 uh, or maybe even a category 2 typhoon before moving into the uh, northern Luzon region, perhaps near the uh, Aurora Isabella provinces and weakening significantly as it crosses the island of Luzon, moving into the South China Sea as a weak tropical storm as we move into uh, Monday. And finally, we have the Japan Meteorological Agency's forecast and showing a pretty much similar track and forecasting a landfall perhaps near the uh, province of Aurora as we move. Again, pretty similar timing now, Sunday morning uh, Philippine time. So we're starting to converge on the, not only on the track, but also on the timing of this system's landfall. However, the exact in intensity is, uh, is still pretty much in the air. Uh, we could definitely see MISAC weakening rapidly as we've seen in the past uh, as we've seen in the past uh, storms that have moved across the Philippine Sea during this time. Um, we're, again, we're expecting strong wind shear and uh, not exactly warm uh, sea surface temperatures. The ocean heat content around the Philippine Sea is not as high as say in July or August or September where the, where the peak of the typhoon season is. Now with that said, uh, we still urge everyone, especially again in northern and central Luzon, even in the uh, Bicol provinces and eastern Visayas, to really keep uh, monitoring the progress of MISAC as it moves into the Philippine Sea, where hopefully we'll, we'll have a more We'll have a better idea on the intensity and exact track of the system as you move into tomorrow and hopefully on our next update tomorrow we'll start on um, discussing the potential impacts not only with the strong winds but also on the potential for heavy rain and storm surge along the eastern coast of the Philippines. And as always stay uh, updated on our website westernpacificweather.com and uh, stay safe everyone. Bye-bye.